Yes, it is that time of year. Attorneys, if you are not thinking about raises, year-end bonuses, reviews, and you are sitting and swimming in that area of where you feel like a prisoner, you're backed against the wall, you don't know if anybody, so-and-so deserves it, you know, you feel like you're held hostage. If you don't get them, people are going to quit or leave or blah, 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 blah. Or we give discretionary bonuses, stop. Right now we're sitting here. We are in the home stretch, folks. We are about 18 weeks left in the year. Hard to believe. If you do not have your reviews, it, quarterly reviews, your year end bonuses, your quarterly bonuses and all that junk systematized, put your team in the law firm admin bootcamp and let them handle it. Let them come to you with the proposed solution. Right now, we are finishing a three-part series on high-performance um, productivity sprints with the team in regards to cleaning up backlog work, in regards to refinement and systems and processes and production and things of that nature. And that's one of the things that we're working on right now is client care calls in addition to the clean office clutter where the team are going doing an audit of files, of offices, of system, of process, et cetera. And here's the deal. I challenge them to tell me if you can ma wave a magic wand and be over the moon delighted, what's in it for you? What would you like at the end of the year? Talk to me what you want in regards to time, um, money, things of that nature. And it's fascinating because I'm blown away. I'm so proud of these paralegals, marketing coordinators that are in the program. We have a VA from the Philippines. He's been with his estate planning law firm for two and a half weeks, and he was hired as um, intake and doing a lot of the follow-up in addition to marketing, wearing three different hats, A-OK. -okay. He has a time template. He has KPIs for everything in his job description. And I asked him, I'm like, what it would be over the moon delighted for you? You know what he said? I would love for my attorney, what would make me for a year end bonus is that I can attend and my attorney would pay for me to go through this SEO course that I have had my eye on. And I know that I can save the law firm $3,500 a month that they're paying for the agency for SEO. And I can take that over. And if the attorney would invest in me going through this program and I can learn it and I can get it optimized and working, then I could save the law firm $3,500. And what's in it for me is I get the training and education along the way. Uh, hello, what entrepreneur wouldn't sign up for that? I'm like, okay, great. How much does it cost? How long is it going to take? Are you doing it on your own time outside offers? Make a proposal and pitch it to the attorney. That's what he's working on this week. I have another client service coordinator that's working for a family law firm and re hired as just a receptionist and she's in there. And what, you know what she wanted for her year end bonus? If she's able to meet her KPIs over and deliver on them. She wants to go to paralegal school. Single mom cannot afford to go to paralegal school. And ultimately, that's what she has always dreamed of. She gets hired as a law firm, finally gets a shot as a receptionist. And her goal is for her. Again, she's been there less than a month and she wants to go to paralegal school. I'm like, great. Go do the research. How much is it going to cost? How long is it going to take for you to complete this schooling? When are you doing it? Is it online? Is it nights and weekends? Are you go and get the proposal? And that's what she's bringing next week to open coaching hours. She, I'm going to help her work on the proposal and then pitch it to the attorney and how she's going to, that's going to be her bonus for that. And so we're going to work on it. Now, it doesn't mean don't start freaking out and that the attorney's writing a check for an employee that's only been there for a month to invest in them to go to paralegal school and pay for it so they can leave them and go work somewhere else. No, that's not the deal we're talking about where she's going to take out the loans and she's going to the law firm's not funding it. If she's still employed and she completes it and what have you, she doesn't have to worry about having that debt hanging over her head if she meets her KPI. So the turn the law or might not be writing the check for this, or maybe they're making monthly installment payments on it. And there's going to be rules around that. There's going to be some protection for the law firm around this. I'm not being reckless in it, but 
They're not saying they want a $25,000 a year bonus. They're not saying they want unlimited PTO. Like your team, if you don't have this systematized, if it's not in process and you're not having the conversations with your team members about what are we doing for year-end strategic retreat? What's our year-end sprint and push in regards to gamify and have fun with this? What are we doing about raises? What are we doing about reviews? It's not a heavy and hard conversation. It shouldn't be riddled with things anxiety. Empower your team to take the lead on this and then come to you with a proposed solution, especially if you have a PLA or an ops manager or anyone within the practice. Make certain that this is top of mind for them and is a top priority to get this in place. What are we doing for year-end training? Are we doing a retreat? Are we bringing, I just interviewed someone on my podcast. It's amazing. She's going all over law firms and doing one day trainings on and for a year end, you know, kind of booster shot on um, the four pillars of creating a mentally healthy law firm culture. So things that nature, I know it's September and the clock is ticking and this should be top of mind for you all, but not in a way that creates anxiety and feeling super heavy and hard. To start the conversation, if it's not systematized and it's not working, then let's start the conversation. Let your team do the heavy lifting. They're happy to do that and they're crushing it in the program. So now's the time to start having the conversation and don't have anxiety around it. Have some fun and creativity and really a tremendous amount of pride for your team. And for as if you're a team member for the law firm that you get to work with and help serve. All right. Have a great week. See you in week three. We are completing our high performance productivity sprints with the team. See you next Tuesday, Wednesday.